Written in 2003 by Canadian author Karen Levine, Hannah's Suitcase is a middle-grade non-fiction book that weaves together two stories about the Holocaust, the biography of Hannah, a young Jewish girl in the 1930s 40s who is murdered in a Nazi concentration camp, and the research of a modern-day Japanese historian, Fumiko Ishioka, who pieces together Hannah's past. In the introduction to Hannah's Suitcase, Levine writes of the suitcase, in it lies a story of terrible sadness and great joy, a reminder of the brutality of the past and of hope for the future. Lavigne hopes that the story of Hannah will help educate people about the Holocaust and prevent it from happening again. Although written for young readers, Hannah's suitcase, with its messages of compassion and empathy, has wide appeal to audiences of all ages. Lavigne builds tension by alternating chapters between Ishioka's search for details about Hannah and Hannah's increasingly tragic life. After Hannah's death, Levine shifts that part of the storyline to Hannah's older brother, George. Ishioka, the director of the Tokyo Holocaust Education Resource Center, is inspired by a meeting with Holocaust survivors. She wants to help Japanese students understand the impact of World War II and the Holocaust on Jewish children. She sends requests to Holocaust museums around the world asking to borrow children's artifacts. In 2000, after many rejections, she receives from Auschwitz a few items of clothing, a shoe, a canister of Zyklon B, the gas used in Nazi gas chambers, and Hannah's suitcase. The suitcase is empty, but written in white paint on one side is the name Hannah Brady. The German spelling of Hannah uses 210 S. Hannah's birthday, May 16, 1931, and the word Awesenkind, which is German for orphan, are also painted on the suitcase. Ishioka's students, who range from 8 to 18, form a club called the Small Wings and meet regularly to learn about the Holocaust. They are interested in the suitcase and eager to learn more about Hannah, so Ishioka begins her historical detective work. The Small Wings write a newsletter to other children in Japan to educate them about Hannah and the Holocaust. Their motto is, let's learn, think, and act, to create peace, for the 21st century. Hannah is born in the small Czechoslovakian town Nov Mesto na Morave. She and George, who is older by three years, live with their parents Karel and Marketa. The family is Jewish. Hannah's parents run the general store and the family lives above it on the second floor. Hannah and George have a happy childhood. George plays the violin and Hannah the piano. Hannah wishes to be a teacher when she grows up. The two children enjoy ice skating on the lake and playing with their friends. After Hitler comes to power in Germany, changes begin for Hannah's family. Hitler establishes restrictive rules for Jewish people. In 1938, Hannah is in third grade, but is no longer allowed to go to school. She now must wear a yellow Star of David badge identifying her as a Jew. Hannah has tutors at home but misses her friends, who grow afraid to play with her because she is Jewish. They drift away, and Hannah is lonely. In 1939, the Nazis invade Czechoslovakia. In 1941, Hannah's mother, Marketa, is arrested by the Gestapo and taken to Ravensbrück, a women's concentration camp in Germany. Hannah never sees her again. Hannah's father is taken away months later. Hannah and George are taken in and cared for by a Gentile uncle. Before long, Hannah and George are picked up and transported to the Der Seienstadt, the Nazi word for the Czech city, Terezin, concentration camp in 1942. They remain in their Seienstadt for two years, where Hannah secretly takes classes in art and music. Hannah is transferred to Auschwitz in 1944, where she is sent to the gas chamber, murdered immediately upon her arrival. Hannah is 13 years old when she dies. Ishioka tracks down more information about Hannah. She visits the Terrazin Ghetto Museum and discovers that George survived the war. Further research reveals the name of George's young bunkmate at the camp, who is also alive and living in Prague. Ishioka contacts him and gets George's address. Ishioka writes to George, who now lives in Toronto, Canada, and tells him about Hannah's suitcase and her own quest to learn about Hannah. George writes back, sharing photos and stories about his and Hannah's childhood before the war. In 2001, George and his daughter fly to Japan to meet Ishioka and the students in the Small Wings Club. George believes that his sister's wish to become a teacher has actually come true, because, with the story of her life and her death, Hannah is educating the children of Japan and around the world about the Holocaust and helping prevent it from occurring again. 
Published in more than 20 languages, Hannah's Suitcase is the winner of numerous awards, including an American Library Association Notable Books for Children Award in 2004, a Canadian Library Association Book of the Year Award for Children in 2003, and the National Jewish Book Award for Special Recognition, 2002 to 2003. Lavigne's book has also been made into a play of the same title by Emile Scher, and a film documentary, Inside Hannah's Suitcase. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.